Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of the Pro Cyclist Mode here with Joe Almeida and today we have the aftermath of the Giro d'Italia so we are going to do the next races and there are the Tour de Suisse and the National Championships of Portugal and after that we have the Tour de France finally our big objective for this season but yeah today we are going to do these two stages and uh, this is the team that we are bringing with we have João Maida, we have Alex Lutsenko, Jesus Errada, Manuel, José Manuel Dias, Horzen, José Manuel Dias, Jordan Rowling, Nathan Haas and Pierre Dessin e... and uh, yep, yeah, once again it's not an easy race, the Tour de Suisse is very difficult as we all know a lot of big uh, mountain stages we start with a hilly time trial of 17 kilometers. We and of course, Tour de Suisse is not an easy uh, race as always. We have a lot of high mountain stages. We start already with a time trial of 7 kilometers, a hilly time trial. Then, already on stage number 2, we have a mountain stage as you can see right in the beginning a first category climb. Then we have another first category climb right at the end of the stage and it finishes uphill, so it's not going to be easy. Then stage number 3 once again another big mountain stage with a first category and a special category climbs on the, the race or on the stage. Just 100 kilometers of uh, just another kilometers of extension so yeah a short stage with a lot of climbing. So once again not an easy task. And then on stage 4 another stage that it's more easy of course it's a hilly stage not a mountain stage but still we have a lot of little ups and downs with third category climbs down the line on the stage and yeah it seems that it finished a bit uphill not that difficult but once again we need to be very careful with some attacks that uh, will happen here for sure. Then on stage number 5, yes, it's a bit more easy, the stage it considers a flat stage, so it's not for us, it's just a, uh, it's just a day to take a rest, really. Stage 6, we return to the mountains. Stage 6, it ends on a big uphill finish, as you can see here, 11 kilometers, average of 9.3% and maximum of 16% gradient, so yeah, very tough climb this one and it's the major one of the stage uh, and then stage number seven it says that it is a hilly stage but we have a special category climb right in the middle of the stage and then we finish it basically uphill once again so i consider this almost a mountainous stage so it's another difficult one and then we finish on stage number eight a flat stage that probably is for the sprinter although we have a little climb in the end as well so yeah as you can see the majority of the stages are very hard and difficult and João Maida just says and João Maida who just came from Giro d'Italia let's see how is his fitness I'm hoping that he's on a good fitness because we have a fitness peak for Tour de France so let's see what's going to happen and so João Maida is on the road and he has a zero rest condition but we have a plus one on time trial so let's see how is this going to affect the, the performance of João Maida. And so first checkpoint after this big climb, let's see where we at right now. And we are 22 seconds down on the first checkpoint. Let's see if we can recover on these last two and a half kilometers and see what can we do in the end. And we are already on the last kilometer. Let's see João Maida already even 99 because we have a lot of energy to spend. And maybe I just wasted a lot of energy really. And we lost 27 seconds at the end. And so Tadeo Pogacar is the big winner of today, ahead of Filip Alilovic from Football Club do Porto. And uh, João Maida ends on a 23rd position, 28 seconds down, so not the best. Lutsenko a bit better than us. But uh, yeah, but it, it was just the, the management of the energy was not the best, really, so that's why. Uh, and yeah, let's go into stage number two, the big mountain stage that we have here and uh, let's see what's going to happen. 
and so guys here we are at the summit of the first climb so of course anything happened because we are still in the beginning of the stage here in the peloton the pace was a bit high but now it's normal as we start descending and yep so far so good let's go into the last climb of the day and so guys a big fall in the peloton Tadeo Pogacar had just fallen oh my god I cannot believe this the leader is on the ground really although we have still 80 kilometers to go so a lot of time but Pogacar and a lot of other guys have just fallen let's see if I can see who it is and maybe I cannot see it I don't know why or they are already back into the peloton I don't know but I just know that Pogacar has fallen so yeah that's a big deal and we don't have the um, and we don't have the yellow jersey here on the group and so we are closer to the end of the stage 26 kilometers left Pogacar is still behind as you can see there on the graphic the peloton with the yellow jersey is still behind more than two minutes so we are continuing to hold on into the lead let's see on the on the climb if we can hold on into that as well and so we are on the climb and in the back Pogacar is attacking try to reach this front group I'm just putting a pace myself with my team so we are on a good position right now but yeah Pogacar is coming of course let's see now as we are getting out of teammates Diaz is putting a great rhythm really but we need to continue like this if you want to reach the final with some advantage although the the climb is still six kilometers away the summit so we still got a bit to do let's see now and so guys three kilometers to the summit we have 19 guys here at the front some of them out of energy we are looking good with Lutsenko and Joao Maida Lutsenko is playing a big part here on the climb as we are on the last 10 kilometers of the stage and yep yeah, so far so good let's try to stay with the group because we have still a little climb in the end and we need to have energy for that of course and so here we are on the last climb last two kilometers and we are just 10 people with at the front I'm not I don't want to lose contact really so let's go with a big rhythm now with Lutsenko just to try and stay here as the Venapov is try to get away I don't know but yeah Lutsenko now doing a fantastic job for Joao Maida really and uh, we are hanging on so far let's go now Lutsenko what a great job really he's just doing a fantastic job for Joao Almeida let's start the sprint now with Joao Almeida can we go against Carapaz Carapaz is out of energy and Joao Almeida is going for the victory on this stage number two let's go what a win by our team and what a win to Joao Almeida really what a job by Lutsenko to finish on a third place and we have advantage from everybody else apart from Richard Carapaz but yeah what a stage this was very unfortunate to the yellow jersey Pogacar that fell and never came back to the peloton but yeah what a stage and so as you can see we finished with the same time as Carapaz Lutsenko 18 seconds behind and so on the general classification we are now on the second place 23 seconds down Richard Carapaz of course he was better than us on the um, on the general classification before the stage and therefore is the new yellow jersey and the upon the points we are third place and on the young rider classification we are the leader of course Carapaz is no longer a young guy so yeah we have a big lead on that on the mountain Lutsenko is the leader now which is good and yep yeah, what a great stage this was really and now for stage number three it is another mountainous stage as you can see a first category and a special category climb uh, right in the middle and at the end of the stage this one it finishes downhill so let's see what's going to happen and so guys as you can see here we are 1.4 km away from the summit of the first climb and the group is already very short 39 guys here as you can see we only have three guys Lutsenko, Almeida and Diaz Diaz and Lutsenko are on a better day but their energy are not the best as well as João Almeida so yeah we are not looking good so far but thankfully we have a downhill that is very big and we can recover the energy there and so here we are second climb 17 kilometers of extension and yep yeah, it's not going to be easy for sure the pace will be high and we need to be careful uh, I just going with a pace with my guys and, and see if I can hang on here really 
And Pogacar is attacking 3 kilometers to the summit and Pogacar starts an attack. And of course I'm not going to, to that attack really, I'm just going with the rhythm. And I'm hoping that Diaz can protect me really. Come on, I need you and draw Med already out of energy, damn it. We are on a minus one day and we don't have the energy so I cannot go at a bigger pace really. Diaz, come on to the front please, I need you to protect me but it seems that it's not going to be possible. João Mendes is getting behind right now. It's not looking good really. Oh god, we can lose this second place right now. Let's see. And so guys, we are reaching the last kilometer and we are going to lose a minute to the guys up front in the end. Carapaz is the winner of the stage and we are coming to try to minimize the, the, the damage but as you can see, we lost at least a minute which is not good. So... Let's see where we at on the general classification now. And so now on the general classification we are third, 1 minute 36 down, Carapaz is the leader still and Miguel Angel Lopez now 1 minute 8 seconds behind on the second place. And well guys, it seems that we have the fitness peak starting today, which is not good really. Although we have for 27 days, I wanted the fitness peak to the Tour de France and this is too early really. And so guys, here we are on the last 10 kilometers and João Maida had just fallen alongside Lutsenko, the only two ones, alongside Mark Soler as well. I cannot believe this. On the last 10 kilometers, really? My god, this is so unlucky, really. Oh no, god, I, I have a train or I had a train just for this last climb to do something to try to win the stage and now this. I cannot believe it, damn it. Let's try not to lose time, but they are all attacking. Oh god, come on, Lutseko, try to recover to the peloton, please. Oh my god, guys, I think we are in luck because the peloton was stretched out. We had a lot of little groups, but I don't think we have any time difference, so we finish with the same time in the end, even on a 66 position. But we, we we didn't lose time, thankfully. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me, really. So we are still on the third position. We did nothing in the end on the stage, but we didn't lose time. That's what's most important, really. And so now, stage number 5, it is a flat stage. So I'm just going to skip it, really. It doesn't matter. Let's go into the results. And so the winner of the stage, it is Fernando Gaviria, ahead of Jasper Philipsen and Alvaro Odeg. And so now another big mountain stage, stage number 6 as you can see, it's basically a big uh, climb in the end. Let's see what can draw Meda do really because I'm not very optimistic but we have a fitness peak so maybe we can do something. And so guys here we are on the last 10 kilometers. we are starting the climb and I have a train as always to see what can we do really. Draw Meda on a plus one day which is good but now we are behind, come on guys please. Go to the front, Lutsenko and João. We need you there. Diaz is putting a pace. Then we have Jesus Errada, Lutsenko and João Maida are the guys for today. And let's see what can we do. And Pogacar is attacking right now. Pogacar is on the attack. We still have 4 kilometers to go. I'm upping the tempo a little bit with Errada. But Pogacar now is getting away. Let's see. He is 4 minutes down. So yeah. Not a big of a danger right now, but still, we need to be careful. And I'm getting out of energy already, which is not good at all. So yeah, let's see what can I do different, because I need to maintain my energy. I don't know how, but yeah. Pogacar attacks. Let's see what can we do. And so, João Maeda getting out of energy. Carapaz and Miguel Angel Lopez are attacking to try and reach... Pogacar, João Maida does not have the energy as we are on the last kilometer. I tried to go 99 but it's not possible for us so we are going to lose more time. Carapaz out of energy so Miguel Manja Lopez is gaining time on Carapaz. Pogacar is the winner of the stage and behind it let's see who is coming, all of the other guys. And yep, we are going to lose a bit more time which is not good at all. And so now we are already 2 minutes down Carapaz and Miguel Angel Lopez is just 24 seconds behind with Pogacar 2 minutes and 55 so he's just right behind us right now we need to be careful with our third position here on Tour de Suisse. 
And so now we have the penultimate stage, stage number seven. Again, a difficult one. Once again, let's see what can Joao Meta do. And so guys, here we are last 10 kilometers of the stage. We are here, the peloton is all together. And yeah, we are going to start the climb. We have Joao Meta on a plus two. And again, let's see what can we do. Uh, Diaz is protecting me. Jesus is on a plus three. Let's see if he can help me. And yep, of course, now the rhythm is going to be very big, but come on, Joao. And so it seems that we have a little group in front now with nine guys. Pogachar is one of them. We need to be careful, really. I'm trying to get to them with Errada, and we did that. So yeah, Joao Mede still has some energy, which is good. And we are three kilometers away from the finish line. Come on, Joao, let's try to up the tempo a little bit here with Errada, because I want to go to the front and try to do something, really, because... We have the energy to do it, so come on, Ejada. Just continue like this for a little bit. And yeah, let's use the energy gel, which I should use as well. Come on, Joao. Two kilometers to go. Let's use all of this. Let's go now. And Pogachar is attacking, maybe. I don't know, but let's just put a pace ourselves. Joao Almeida. Come on, boy. Last kilometer now. There let's start the sprint against Joao Pogachar. Can Zaza. we do it? Joao Almeida is sprinting for victory. And I think we are going to do Joao Maida with another stage win ahead of this group of seven guys. We are not going to gain much time to the the overall classification leader, but still, it's another stage win. We gain a couple of seconds, which is good. So yeah, another good stage for us. That plus two help a lot, really. So unfortunately, we don't gain any seconds on the road, just the bonification seconds by finishing first. So yeah. Now 1 minute 55 seconds down, uh, which means we are 1 minute ahead of Pogacar and almost 2 minutes behind Carapaz. And so here we go now, last stage, stage number 8. It is a flat stage, so maybe there will be no difference on the general classification really. So yep, let's see who is the winner of the last stage and then the final result. And so on the last stage, the flat stage is the one of course where we have a plus 5, so yeah, where we don't need it, we have it. Thanks game. So I watched the final of the stage as you can see here and it's not that flat, so who knows? A little attack in the end can make the difference, maybe? I don't know. Since we have a plus 5, of course I'm going to try to win the stage, I know it is difficult with the sprinters that we have here, but who knows what can happen. And so here we are already inside the last 4 kilometers, and this is the, the little hill that we have. So let's see if we can do something with our guys or not. I'm going to put even 99 now here, the first one. Come on. But they are already that's sprinting a lot, so I don't think Romeda can do it. Let's see now. Come on, Nathan Haas is doing a fantastic job for us after the corner. We are going to start the sprint with João Almeida. Last counter now, come on John, but they are very far away it seems. Ackerman is going for the victory and Pascal Ackerman is the winner of this last stage ahead of Matteo Moschetti and Fernando Gaviria. And so, oh my god, what? Miguel Maja Lopez is the winner? When did that happen? I didn't notice that, I thought it was Carapaz, but yeah. Richard Carapaz lost the race 13 seconds, Joao made 1 minute 31. And Pogacar 2 minutes 31, so when did Carapaz lose this? It was the last stage, I don't believe so. I don't know what the hell happened, oh my god. But yeah, Miguel Angel Lopez is the winner. I didn't expect that he's the winner of the best number classification as well. In terms of points, Pogacar is the winner with João Almeida on the second place. And the young rider classification, of course, is for João Almeida, one minute ahead of Tadeu Pogacar. Of course, because of that crash that Pogacar had, if it wasn't for that, I don't believe we were here in first place, but yeah, it is what it is, and we got at least a jersey, and we won two stages, which is a good thing, really. Oh my god, guys, I, I, I didn't notice that, I, I wouldn't believe it, but as you can see here, 15 guys finish up top, and they finish with a difference, as you can see, 37 seconds down the main group, where the Carapaz was and Miguel Mahalopez was in the front group as you can see and this is why he won the general classification so out of nowhere what a surprise really and uh, I didn't expect this really and so now to finish off the episode we have the national championships as always this is the same parkour 
as every year so yeah let's go into the individual time trial and let's see if this time we can be finally time trial national champion and so here we are João Maiden we are the favorites today with a plus two because today we don't have Nelson Oliveira here no more so as you can see we have a lot of plus on time trial so let's take advantage of that and let's see if we can be the new national champion and so first checkpoint we were the first on it now we are on the second checkpoint let's see what time are we doing and we are we are very good right now and again we are first so yeah let's see if we can get first position as well on the finish line so far we are riding very good and i believe we can do it and here we are João Maid on the last meters he's going for the finish line and he goes for the first place 1 minute 41 seconds ahead of Jose Gonçalves the second place and yep yeah, what a easy victory really i can say that it was very easy this time Trump we don't have we didn't have any opposition really and we are the new national champions of time trial of portugal and next we have the world championships and so guys here we are on the world national championships and uh, we have a plus three day we are the favorites but we have a new parkour so it's not the same parkour that has been for uh, some time now uh, but it's it's the same uh, it's a circuit so it finishes uphill or more or less so yeah let's just hope that the breakaway does not get a win and we can try and win this jersey once again and so last 25 kilometers and some attacks are happening Jay Gonçalves attack but it was for nothing really we have Federico Figueiredo here in the front of the peloton controlling the breakaway and yep I cannot do nothing really I just want to stay in the peloton they do all the work and then I have to sprint for victory, but I'm not the best sprinter here. Let's see. We have a small hill next, and uh, maybe I will put a rhythm or attack that, but I mean, it's going to be very difficult, really. Let's see what can we do. And so I'm trying a little attack, last 10 kilometers of this little hill. Let's see what can Joao Meda do. I, I don't think we can get away, really, so... I, I'm trying of course but it's going to be difficult as you can see yep that's no point of attacking I just lost a lot of energy for doing that and I mean I just need to focus and try to get the win on a sprint which will be very difficult since we have here some sprinters as you can see here from Marquez I'm sick Rui Oliveira is the best sprinter here so I mean let's see what can we do really because like I said it's difficult but I need to try, I need to get once again the jersey of the national championship. And so here we are, I'm at the wheel of a sprinter, Francisco Camps from uh, Football Club do Porto and yep, let's see what can we do and why am I getting behind now, come on guys, last two and a half kilometers the peloton just stopped really and I'm not going, for, let, I mean I need to, no I'm not going to sprint already, let's just stop it now. I'm going to take this to the line really let's see now and let's start the sprint now maybe it was too late for João Maida my god what am I doing too late really and Cesar Martins here is the winner ahead of Rui Oliveira and I cannot believe it why did I stop it I thought I, I didn't see the red flag for the last kilometer and there, the, therefore it just confuses me and yep my god so strange I, I i don't i'm not used to not having a train so therefore i mean i shouldn't have stopped there really it was a mistake and yep i we didn't want this one but we are at least uh national champions of the individual time trial and yeah guys we didn't win the world championship but that is okay really because we already had that jersey in the past the, the the time trial was the one that I was looking for and we did that so we are the new national championships of time trial which is awesome so we have that jersey now to represent Portugal on the time trials and next we have Tour de France let's see what can we do there but for now this is it don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe because it means a lot as always and we are right on the final bit of PCM 20 because PCM 21 is right around the corner and now I'm just going to rush a little bit and to finish off this season with John Maida here on Pro Cycling Manager 20 to then go to the new game of the Pro Cycling Manager 21 and start new series there. So yeah, I hope you like it. Stay safe. Bye bye.